Hey, look, it doesn't look like the Apple TV is coming up on the TV at all here. Mmm. Oh, sorry. I still need to plug it in. Give me a second. There we go, Carl. I got you all plugged in. I am shocked that that worked. Hi all, welcome back to another Tech Connect. I'm Corey. I'm Luke. And I'm fresh off of my trip to Orlando. Yeah, Corey, how was it there? Nice and warm, eh? It was like 75, 80s the whole time. Shorts, t-shirt. I am very happy for you. I can hear it in your voice, no sarcasm whatsoever. Nope. <laughs> We're back with another video. We're looking at the Apple TV and how you can watch TV and movies, especially during the holiday season. So grab your popcorn and let's get going. Pop goes the weasel, cause the weasel goes pop. <laughs> The holiday seasons are upon us. One of the things I like to do is watch movies and TV shows, especially with the family or when I've had enough of the family. <laughs> I like to use an Apple TV. So the Apple TV is a hockey puck sized device that connects to an existing television via HDMI. Sometimes people think it's its own standalone TV device, but it's not. But what it does allow us to do is with a number of accessibility features built in, we'll take a look at them in just a moment, we're able to access a lot of built-in applications and also download third-party applications. So Carl, you said that you like to watch television and for that you need some accessibility features. I think we have those on the screen at the moment. Yeah, we can get to those from the main menu, choose settings, choose accessibility, and obviously all your accessibility related features are going to be all right here. Uh, the top one is voiceover, which is the built-in screen reader. We've got that turned on. I'm gonna need that during this demonstration. But we've got a couple other ones here, magnification. So if anybody wants zoom, you can get that here. The other one that I like to turn on too is audio description. If you turn on the audio description, what's gonna happen is any movie or TV show that we watch that has the built-in audio description track, it's automatically gonna choose that track for us. So that's really cool. And for those who don't know what audio description is, we are talking about a narration of the action on the screen as you watch uh, the movie or TV show. Yeah, and as we look, take a look at some of the iTunes movies and Disney Plus, we're gonna see uh, and hear exactly what that audio description sounds like. Well, let's do it then. Pop. Man, coming back from Florida where it was super warm back to this freezing cold weather has mm. not been fun. Yeah, you know, I kind of wish that I bought an Amazon Fire TV, but at least the Apple TV has got a fireplace feature built in as well. I know, it's super nice and cozy mm. right here. We got our hot cocoa, mm. and I appreciate you making them, but dude, you did not put enough marshmallows in. Well, you know, maybe Santa will bring you some, hey? <laughs> I mentioned that the Apple TV can do third-party apps, and we'll get to those in just a moment, but by default, you do get access to the full iTunes library of movies and TV shows. You're gonna find that at the top row of your Apple TV under movies. And again, we're using the remote control to, to move around with the four arrow keys. Movies, row one. So we'll go into movies. Menu, purchased, tab, one of six. And across the top, we've got a number of different options here from your purchased movies to top movies. First, let's take a look at if we wanted to go and purchase a mo new movie. Let's take a look at what's, uh, what they're considered their top movies right now. Top movies, tab 206. Luke, do you have a favorite movie that's uh, just recently released? From this year? Hmm, it's either gonna be The Batman. Ooh, The pretty Batman. good. Yep. I, uh, I recently watched it twice. I watched it once in the cinema, twice on the plane okay. when I flew to England. I've not yet seen it. It's definitely worth a watch. Okay. And also, uh, Top Gun Maverick, just straightforward oh. action fun. Great I fun. can't even tell you how many times I've seen that. Let's take a look and see if either of those are in the top list All here. All right. Black Adam, one of 15. So we got a whole list now, and we can move uh, horizontally, and let's see what kind of movies we've got. Poker Face, Two, The Woman King, Three, Top Gun, Maverick. Hey, there's hey. your Top Gun. Let's take that. So we're going to go ahead and select that. Top Gun, Maverick, Dolby at most, rated PG-13, Common Sense Rating, 12+, plus. Tomato Rating, Certified Fresh, 96%, 2 hours, 10 minutes, 2022, Dolby Vision, 4K, Closed Captions Available, Audio Descriptions Available. After more than 30 So years. we got a lot of really good information there about that movie. It was telling us the rating and the runtime, some of the audio uh, accessibility features for the movie and uh, as well, uh, uh, cap, closed captions. We also heard it say audio description. I was just about to read the description and I cut it off. But we've got a preview button here so we can watch a trailer if we want. And then we can also purchase or rent the movie right from this screen. Now the only thing we don't know at the moment is how much it is. Let's find out. All right. 
$5.99 rent. Oh, that's $5.99 to rent. That's oh. going to give you 48 hours of watching. Mm -hmm. uh, so if the movie, here, quick math. If a train is leaving and you're watching Top Gun Maverick, your train is two and a half hours long and the movie is two hours and 28 minutes, how many times can you watch it? <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, three. Eh, wrong. All right, here we go. It's $5.99 to rent. $19.99. Or you can buy it for Ooh. $19. Do you think that more movie's worth 20 bucks? 100%. Yeah, I think so, too. Mm -hmm. All right, let's buy it. Buy Top Gun Maverick for and $19 yes. and not cancel. Bye. And there we go. Awesome. We have purchased Maverick. So please uh, excuse us for a while while we watch the movie, and we'll be back in two, yeah. and two and a half hours. I also need a check request form from work to see if I get reimbursed for Maverick. So it's going to go ahead and actually start the movie uh, for us. But let's go back, and um, we want to access this movie now that we've purchased it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to head back here. Chart. Top Gun, there Maverick, go. 453, selected, Top Gun, Maverick, menu, top movies, tab. And let's go over to purchase. Purchased, tab, one. So the purchase tab is going to show us all the movies that we've purchased. And it's going to break them down for us by recently purchased, all movies, genres, you know, all those different kind of categories you might want to take a look at. Mm -hmm. But obviously we just purchased this. So, oh, 151 button. going to be recent purchases. in our recent 17, purchases. Button. So we'll go and take a look. Top Gun, Maverick. There it is. We'll go ahead and choose it. Top Gun, Maverick. Now it shouldn't say preview any longer. It should say play. Maverick, play button. There, there we go. Is. And we'll go ahead and hit play. Selected, play, tab, one of four. And it brings up a little menu as if you're watching a DVD. We'll choose play again. And here comes our movie. Flying stars skim across a lake towards a distinctive pyramid-like mountain with a snow-covered peak. The stars form an arch over the mountain, paramount. Now you're going to hear Letters some talking in the, the background. of a flaming sun. Sky dance, celebrating 10 years. Because I had audio descriptions turned on, it automatically chose the audio track with audio description, and you can hear the gentleman explaining what's going on in the background. It all sounds very exciting. It does. I do love that Top Gun uh, intro. Oh, music. yeah. Hey, Corey, did you know that Apple TV's got an aquarium feature built in? I know, it's so cool. Mm. Hey, I would name him Fluffy. Corey, stop it. The fish don't like that. Who says? So, Corey, we're taking a look at iTunes, but I heard about this movie from Disney. It's called The Santa Clauses, and being a holiday movie, I'm quite excited. How can we go about watching that? So, the Apple TV does allow us to install third-party apps like Hulu, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, things like that. They typically do require a monthly subscription, but what's cool is once you've paid that monthly subscription, anything you find in those apps is just free to watch. You're not paying for it like we just did for Top Gun Maverick. So because I keep up to date on everything Disney, uh, mostly because I just got back from Disney, mm -hmm. I know that the Santa Claus's movie mm -hmm. is going to be in Disney. So let's take a look at Disney+. Plus. We're going to take a look at the home section here, and I know that Disney Plus breaks things down by category because they own so much they now. Own Disney, everything. Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars. Let's take a look and see if we can find the Disney category. Recommended for you. Disenchanted. One selected. Disney. One of five. There it is. So we'll go in there, and hopefully it'll give us some suggestions on its best Disney. Uh, you know, things that it wants us to watch. I would assume Santa Claus is, is going to be in there. So let's take a look. It should and see be a number one, it. really. I really think so. Anything with Tim the Tool Man Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be. All right, let's see if we can find it. Pentatonix, around Diary of Wampy King, the hip hop nutcrack, Elton John Live. I do honestly have some. Uh, I really want to look at the hip hop nutcracker <laughs> as well too. Yeah. I'll be interested to see what that is. Well, let's find Santa Claus's. Disenchanted. The Santa Clauses. There we go. All right, so we'll choose it. Play season one, episode one button. And this is a oh. TV show because we heard it say play season one, episode one. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and choose it. Good to help. Your video is currently low. Pause at zero. Voice over off. As the New York skyline glows at nighttime, a sleigh flies over the And just like our iTunes movie, we get audio description here in Disney as well. Ooh, Santa definitely knows the exact amount of marshmallows to put in a hot cocoa. Yeah, that guy is a real pro. I'm, I'm glad he bought those for us. This hot chocolate is really nice. And I heard it's like five degrees outside at the moment. I am very glad we got this warm fireplace to, to stand by. Wait, oh. wait. Wait, the fire, the fire stopped oh my making God, a noise. Oh it just went out. Oh, no! oh, 
Um, so I think we're all ready to go. I just need to plug that light back in. No, uh, no, so it's gonna take time. Oh, I totally forgot to tell you. La yesterday when yeah. I was at home, uh -huh. I swear I got video of Santa <laughs> and this guy. Yeah, I'm Come not even kidding. I, here, on. check it out. Check it out. I got it right here. Check. Let's have a look at this. Uh, dude, dude, I hate to say it, but I'm not seeing Santa on here anyway. Okay, it's, is it too small? Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Okay, here, here. here. Oh, let right. me, let me, I'm going to use AirPlay right. uh, screen mirroring so you can just see everything that's on my uh, iPhone. I can put it over onto the Apple TV. Oh, that'd be good. That's going to be good. I'm telling you, you don't believe me, <laughs> but you got to trust me. Here we go. Is that, is, that what, is that who I think it is? Santa? Santa, is that you? Ho, ho. I was a good boy this year! Merry Christmas! Turns out Santa is real. I told you. Dude, that's amazing. That was either Santa or a UFO. <laughs> I have the only living footage of Santa Claus. Incredible. TMZ, email me. All right, we've ran out of popcorn. I think this video is probably time to wrap it up, but- Hey, I, just like a Christmas present. Hey, there you <laughs> go. Uh, but I really do like the Apple TV. I think it's the most accessible way to access content uh, completely independently, either through magnification or the built-in screen reader. Um, go back, I know in this video, we really didn't go into depth on like how to turn voiceover on exactly or what keys to do on the remote, but go and check we do have a past video you can see it down in the description watch that video it's going to go more in depth uh teaching you a little bit more on how to use the apple tv but again i'm a big fan of the apple tv luke do you own any streaming device i got a roku you do have a Roku. Mm -hmm. All right, well, at least there's one person still using a Roku. That's good. <laughs> uh, we do have a video on the Amazon Fire TV. I like that one as well, from especially from a cost perspective. Mm. But accessibility-wise, Apple TV is the best. That's it. And uh, if you guys would like to tell us what you are using for streaming TV, then stick it down in the comments. And also, we would love to see your footage of Santa. So please go ahead and put <laughs> uh, links to that in the comments also. And uh, if you did enjoy the video, please do subscribe and give us a like and hit the notifications bell because all of that stuff really helps out the channel. If you have any questions about the Apple TV or any other assistive technology, go ahead and contact us three different ways. Give us a call, 414-615-0103. You can shoot us an email, techconnect at vision-forward.org or check out our website, vision-forward.org. Hope you have a great holiday and stay tuned.